Hey everyone, Val here. In my kitchen, it is a day before my surgery. So I did take today off work. Yesterday was my last day of work. I tried to get everything tied up in a neat little bow so that I can be out for three weeks and not have to worry about work. There are people <clears throat> that are gonna be looking after uh, my work while I'm gone. And I have shut off my work cell phone and my work computer and I'm gonna let them handle it. Um, it's hard for me, but I'm gonna let it let them handle it so that I can have the next three weeks of just trying to recover and get well and do a little bit of relaxing uh, through the holidays. So as you may or may not know, I'm having hernia surgery tomorrow. Uh, my surgery is scheduled for 10:15 in the morning. Uh, it's going to be done at the VA hospital. So we have to get there two hours early. So we have to get there about 8.15 and it's about an hour and a half away from our house. They did tell us they would put us up in lodging if we wanted lodging, but it doesn't make sense for us because Steve works till 6 p.m. tonight. I would have to go down today between two and four o'clock to pick up the key. Uh, it's an hour and a half drive, like I said, or hour and 15 minute drive. So it'd be an hour, it'd be two and a half hours of my day going down to get the key, probably add an extra half hour for going in, waiting in line, getting everything together, finding parking. Parking is a nightmare down there. And um, <clears throat> it's just not worth my time because tonight is Tuesday night. And I, we do Bible study on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. I'm the facilitator of the class, so I would not be able to even leave my house till 8. Um, the Bible study's on Zoom. So <clears throat> by the time we got there, it'd be almost 10 o'clock tonight. I don't think that makes sense for us. It's a lot of wasted time during my day today, running to get the key and then coming back and uh, I have a lot of stuff I still need to get done. I've tried to get laundry done. I have one load of laundry left in the wash machine. I have my breakfast, I'm getting ready to eat. I have a three egg omelet with a little bit of cheese and I have my, uh, my grapefruit. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be my breakfast this morning. I can't eat anything after 10 p.m. or drink anything after 10 p.m. tonight or in the morning tomorrow. They did give me these little scrub brushes. They gave me two of these little scrub brushes. I don't know if you can see them. And they told me to take a shower tonight and take one in the morning and use these in my surgical area. Um, I guess they kill bacteria. It's a surgical scrub brush and sponge. So um, I'm going to do that tonight and in the morning. Like they said, I'll probably have to get up like 5 a.m., get my shower, uh, we'll leave the house around 6.30, so I could get up at 5.30, take my shower, leave the house at 6.30, get there by 8, we have to be there at 8.15, that'll give us time to get parking and get into the hospital, and, uh, and then we'll, you know, get ready for the surgery. So today, the rest of the things I want to do today, I'm going to upload a couple of videos, I have a couple of videos to edit yet. Um, I'm going to upload those for a few days after my surgery. I have a Christmas tag coming up that's already uploaded. And I have a collab for a cookie swap coming up on the 17th. And that's already uploaded. And I'm hoping to get the channels today so I can insert all the channels in the description box of that. So you can check out all of the people who are in the collab and uh, visit their channels. It's uh, put out by uh, Recipes by Roy, and um, he's uh, hosting it, and if you know his channel, make sure you go visit his channel. I'm sure he'll have all of the collab channels listed, so you can see all the cookie swap recipes. That's going to be fun. That's coming up on the 17th, and uh, what else today? I have to, I've already cleaned my bathroom, taken a shower, I'm going to set up. There's, we have a uh, electric recliner that I'm going to be sleeping in for the next few days because I was told the hardest thing about hernia surgery is getting up from a laying down position. So I am going to be camping out in the electric recliner for a few days. Um, 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna get the room set up over there. I want to put some uh, puzzle books and and some my uh, portal so I can talk to my mom and my sisters and uh, my laptop and stuff around the chair so I have stuff that I can do if I feel well enough to do that. I'm sure after a couple of days I'm going to be feeling fine. I just can't lift anything over 5 to 10 pounds um, for a few weeks and absolutely no driving. So uh, I'm my plan is to work till or to be off till the end of the year in January second or third whenever the first work day is in January that's when I'll work from home for a few weeks uh, before I go start going out driving again so today I'm going to uh, I've got a whole cauliflower in there and I do like that for a snack so I'm going to cut that up and have that ready so if I want a few pieces I can just come and grab it I don't have to stand and cut vegetables and stuff I'm going to make some um white chocolate chip sugar cookies for steve i might even make another batch of fudge steve is loving the fudge so i may go ahead and make another batch of that i think i have another can of the sweetened not the uh sweetened condensed milk so I'm, i know i have enough chocolate chips for that so i'll probably do that i got a few dishes in my sink i need to wash I need, I'm going to make a banana bread and cut it up and put it in the freezer so that if I want something quick, all I have to do is take it out, a piece of it out, pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds or so, just enough to warm it up. I defrost it and uh, have that for breakfast. I probably won't be doing a lot of cooking at all. I'm going to make an ambrosia salad because I usually have my uh, fresh fruit, strawberries and blueberries and yogurt for lunch and i'm like i said i'm not going to set every day and cut that i'm not going to cut it in advance because i don't think it'll last but a couple of days and um the strawberries have, haven't been lasting very long anyway so i didn't buy any of the strawberries or blueberries this week i did buy some grapes because i do like my green grapes and i'll probably throw some of those in the ambrosia salad i also have a few pears and an apple up here that Steve can cut for me if I want uh, for some fresh fruit to snack on. And for dinner tonight, I'm going to make a cheddar broccoli soup because I think it's going to be light and I probably am just going to want something light for dinner and then I can have leftovers for after surgery tomorrow. It is outpatient surgery, so I'll be coming home after the surgery and if I want something light to eat, I'll have the soup already made. So Steve doesn't have to mess with anything and um, we can just, you know, I probably just maybe eat and sleep for the rest of the night. So um, that's kind of my plan for today. I'll uh, show you stuff as I, I make it, I guess. Um, try to get things cleaned up, get the living room set up and um, figure out what projects I want to work on if I want to do any knitting or anything. I did start a hedgehog last night. The new thick yarn that I bought, I'm not, I'm really, I think it's too thick. Um, I'm struggling with it a little bit. I'm going to see, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue with the one that I'm making and see how it turns out. But I'm using the smallest pattern and it's coming out really big. So, um, and I'm using like a size five needle. Um, I don't know. It's just, it seems like it's, uh, it's just maybe too thick of a yarn. Maybe I got too thick of a yarn. But we'll see how it turns out. I'll show you. I'd like to see what it looks like when I'm finished. I'm going to try to vlog. Um, probably not tomorrow after my surgery. But I'll probably vlog um, a few days after that. Just to give you an update on how everything is going. And what I'm doing. Um, not that I'm going to be doing much of anything. But like I said, this vlog will go up tomorrow, Wednesday. The day of my surgery. So I'm recording it actually the day before my surgery. Um, I'm going to be editing a few others that's pre-recorded. I've already pre-recorded the Christmas video, the Christmas uh, tag video. So that's done. Um, I didn't want to do that after surgery. I wanted to make sure I did that before surgery. So I think that's about it. I've already, you know, like this past weekend cleaned the house, cleaned up as much as I could. Um, wash the dishes that the new set of dishes that i bought for christmas if if steve and my son want to use them um they're in the dishwasher i just got to pull those out and put them somewhere um cook 
do the dishes and edit a lot of video. Edit, I think I got like three videos to edit. So that'll, that'll be my day today. So uh, I'll uh, let you see the stuff as I'm making it, I guess. And uh, if I have anything else to add, I'll add it onto the video. I made the ambrosia salad and I put it in individual containers here. So all I will have to do is pull out a bowl and that can be for my lunch. And I cut up my cauliflower that's in this little container down here. So I'm ready to go with that. I have my cookies made. I have them in a container over here. These are for Steve. The white chocolate sugar cookies. The FedEx guy came by. I gave him a couple of cookies. He was very appreciative. Uh, tis the season. And I have my uh, banana bread. This is individual little loaves. It's actually banana um, peanut butter bread. So... I think that's all the baking I'm going to do. I'm going to do my cheddar broccoli soup in a little bit. Probably in another. It's like not even 2 o'clock yet. So probably around 3 or so. I'll uh, start my cheddar broccoli soup. But until then, I'm going to wait for the banana bread to finish. And uh, I'm going to relax a little bit. So uh, we have uh, Bible study tonight. And... Uh, dinner and then I'm just I'm gonna chill they turned out beautiful look how pretty they are took 35 minutes to bake them in the small loaves so I'm gonna let them cool and I'm gonna pack them individually and put them in the refrigerator or the freezer um, I'll probably save a couple out and then uh, freeze the other ones and uh, I'll have something good to eat for breakfast with my grapefruit.